taking the hill for the Bucks. Nine starts, a 5.18 ERA, but that just continues to drop. He's pitched great lately. Ketel Marte, the hitting streak up to 16 games. The big guy out there, 6'7", 250 pounds. And he has a good start, the strikeout of Marte. It's a 1-2-3 first. Zach Gallon here this afternoon. Gallon, like we said, is 4-0 with a 2.32 ERA. Lead off walk to Hayes. Got the ground ball by Reynolds. Now trying to get Vogel back out. Well, finally got Vogel back to chase something outside the strike zone. Elevates there and gets out number two. David Peralta. That might work out. A thing. Perfectly placed accidental bunt. And Peralta's aboard with the first hit for the Diamondbacks. Well, he loses Thomas. Two on and two out now for Perdomo. Bounce to first. Chavis scoops it up on the line. And Thompson strands two. Two balls and two strikes here on Herrera. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. He just elevated a cutter way up high in the strike zone, up and away. 96 miles an hour. Took a cut at a fastball and missed it. That's three strikeouts for Thompson. Heineman batting left-handed. Here's the pitch. And he bunts the ball toward third. And Gallon a little struggle with it and picks the ball up late and throws to first. Heineman is as good a bunter as we have seen in a long time. That guy knows how to bunt. The catcher is aboard with runners at first and second. And to set up Cal Mitchell. He lines one into center. Robello will put on the brakes. And quickly charged by Thomas to keep Marcano at third. The Bucks have him loaded in the top of the order coming up. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Breaking ball in the dirt, and he's down on strikes. Big time strikeout there for Gallon. That Herrera making a nice job right there, just breaking down, blocking it, keeping it in front. And you want that hitter to try to chase something out of the strike zone. He got him right there on that curveball. All right, here is Brian Reynolds. This is a little trickier situation now. As we saw, Reynolds, good speed down the line. Not easy to double up. Strike three called right on the inside part of the plate. No doubter at 95. And back-to-back -back strikeouts after the Pirates load the bases with nobody out. You talk about a big out right here. Now he's got to finish it off in the tough hitter in Vogelbach. And Zach trying to pull a Houdini act right here. Bounce to first yeah. base. Walker's there. Zach Gallen, bases loaded and no outs. He walks the high wire, but he gets the top three hitters in the lineup. Jack Sawinski now to the plate. Drive to right field. He cracked that one toward the Clemente wall, and that'll bounce off the top of the fence and roll along the warning track and into second base, standing with a double. Jack Sawinski. But he just got out and around it and hooked that thing some 300. 70 feet off the ball at 108.9 off the bat. So that'll set up first and third for Tyler Heineman. The pitch runner grows broken bat check swing grounder to the pitcher gallon who will step and throw to first and it's in time for the out. The inning is over. So once again the Pirates get a runner in scoring position with fewer than two outs. They cannot score. Jose Herrera the catcher. Herrera punches one to the vacated area over there. Jose Herrera has a one-out single. Runner at first and two outs for Josh Rojas. Here's the pitch. There's a line drive into center field, and that ball's going to drop for a base hit. Charging in was Reynolds. He thought about leaving his feet, but chose the wiser decision. And here we go. Diamondbacks maybe in a spot here. First and second, two outs. And their hottest hitter coming up to the plate in Cattel Marte. The 2-2. Ground ball right side. Second baseman up with it. Marcano throw to first. And Zach Thompson puts up another zero. Five zeros going to the bottom of the fifth. And Cal Mitchell leads off. There's a drive to right field. Deep to right toward the Clemente wall. Clear the deck. Cannonball coming first. Big league home run for Cal Mitchell. Pirates lead one to nothing. Cal from California. It's his first major league home run. That was pretty. Yeah, it was. That was a no doubter. As soon as he hit it, a breaking ball coming right into the bat path. 
Here's Jack Sawinski. They almost hit one today. Hit one off the top of the Clemente wall. And this ball is rocketed to right, hugs the line, bounces up against the wall. Jack Sawinski into second base with a one out double. Jack Sawinski, few better than him right now. Another double for rookie Jack. Good swing right there, too. That's a cutter. Looked like a cut fastball out over the plate that he rips down the line. Another scoring opportunity for the Pirates. Trying to add to the lead. So Winston's going to try for third. And he is safe. That is the first steal against Zach Gallon all year. A little slower to the plate is Zach Gallon with the runner at second than a runner on first. So Jack anticipates it, waits for him to lift up that right leg and takes off the head first dive. And an opportunity here to get the ball out of the infield. Infield has to come up and Castillo with an RBI chance to try to double the lead. That will get the run home. And maybe more. Infield it's has to and come up. caught on a terrific play by Thomas. And but it's a with an RBI chance for Castillo. Double the lead. And the Pirates lead two to nothing. Heineman batting right handed. One for two today. And there's a line drive base hit for Heineman. Cut off in left center by Peralta. Heineman headed to second. Here comes the throw. He's in there easily. Now the order flips around. Lead off hitter is Key Brian Hayes. And Hayes with the infield drawn in. In front of the outfield. A base hit and a run batted in. The Pirates lead it 3 to nothing. 3-1 count. Here's the pitch. Ground ball right side. Diving stop. Marcano gets to his feet. Throws the first and gets him. What a play to end it. By the second baseman, Tuca Pizza Marcano. The Renegade gets the save. The Pirates take two of three. And again, raise the Jolly Roger 